Hello and welcome to another vlog and this time we've come to the Wirral Transport Museum uh, this is a free entry place um, but you can have rides on trams for £2.50 I'm going to show you around um, they haven't just got trams here there's buses there's all sorts of things a giant model railway uh, we're going to show you them all and uh, we're going to have a ride on one of the trams So as we come in, we've got this uh, ticket office and it's actually an original one from um, one of the Mersey Ferries terminals with the turnstile at the other side and um, yeah, all the uh, passengers as they were coming onto the Mersey Ferries they turn up at the um, ferry terminal and they buy their ticket to board the ferry across to Liverpool from here But they've got a huge mixture of things in here so we're going to go through them all um i mean obviously this isn't uh transport related but you know it's it's a bit of a museum of all sorts really the old uh, cobbler's things to make your shoes old electric iron i think that's the, is that an electric heater i think so Electric fire, um, yeah. Who remembers the old Hoovers with the bags like this? And they do have another ride here as well, but I'm not going to actually get a POV of this one, unfortunately. <laughs> but there it is. Coin operated. Hang on, I think we can ring the bell. And there's the uh, the prices for that. So we'll come up here and let's have a look around. It's all done in uh, different styles. And, you know, you've got the old ra uh, railway models and things like that as well. And this place is all completely run by um, volunteers. Old bike there. They're all off the old buses. And they've got a load of buses around the back as well, which they all operate as well. Um, when they have special events on, all the buses are out driving. Anyone into their motorbikes? Plenty of uh, old motorbikes here. Old oh, train door there as well. Now I'll tell you a bit of a, an interesting story about this uh, motorbike here, the um, Royal Mail one. Liverpool used to have two sorting offices there was the Liverpool South and Liverpool North and one of my old landlords used to ride these motorbikes as a postman back in his in the day and he actually found two of these motorbikes one from North one from South on eBay he bought the both of them and restored them and this is one of them that he bought and he donated it to the museum And the other one, I think he's still got it and he drives right around it with it. I think he worked in the south one, so this might be the one from the north. And he kept the south one because it's one that he used to ride when he was a young lad. So we've got this massive railway here. Absolutely huge. Now this is also um, interactive, so if you see here, you've got these switches. So we'll try, see this helicopter? Okay, now the helicopter is up at the back there. Don't know if you can see it. All 
So if I press this switch. Hello starts spinning and then can you see the windmill at the back? I'll make that turn now. Okay, no I won't, it doesn't seem to be working. Get a better view of it there. This one should make smoke come out of the chimney. So if I press that switch, let's watch that chimney. Can't see any yet. Sometimes it takes a little while to warm up. see some wisps of smoke coming out now petrol pumps You've got the shell there You've got loads of motorbikes here You've got these old gantry crane demonstration The old typewriter. <laughs> oh, and they do have some disability access here as well. So you can get up and down if you have a coming in a wheelchair or you want to bring buggies or anything like that.
heating up some parts of the trams. So your buses there and then you've got trams over here. That one there is a horse drawn tram. But all these trams are operating. Okay, I'll show you some some old cars now as well. There we go. Did any of you viewers ever have these kind of cars? We've got a Ford, Ford Popular 100E. Any of you old enough to have driven these? Or even remember riding on these old buses. So you don't have these foot plates on the back of the buses anymore. Good old elf and safety. And all the buses have got names as well. I've actually ridden on this bus. That's an old car. The Citroen C2 seater Tourer, 1924. I actually don't ever remember seeing this one here. Green Goddess fire engine. Remember these when uh, the fire service went on strike? They did about 30 mile an hour. Good old Morris Traveller. Commonly known as the Woody. So we can actually go on this bus and have a look around. So let's go and have a look. It's strange to think I can actually remember buses being like this, like seat-wise. Imagine these lights on buses these days. They'd all be smashed off in no time. Does it work? No. Button doesn't work. Ding ding. Right, let's take a look upstairs. Ooh. The back seat was small in them days. <laughs> so. I'm guessing they used to have speakers on buses as well. Would listen to music as you were on the bus. I have no idea what these uh, big round things are. So if anybody knows, please comment below and let me know. Disgusting. So you got some of these here as well. Um, that one takes 10p coin, the others take old pennies. 
and uh, you can go and buy some old pennies and uh, have them to put in. I'm not going to do them, but yeah, do that. The ball goes into there, spins round, and drops in. But I don't know what you actually win when they go in them. And they've got an old one-armed bandit here, which is out of order at the moment. Does anyone ever remember the green shield stickers? Some sort of uh, lighter there, strepsils, gold coins. So you can get really close up and personal to these trams. And of course you can ride on them as well. So uh, we will be having a ride soon. They do go to schedule. Controls look really simple. I'm just guessing it's go and break. Right, so time to ride this tram.
I hope you enjoyed that video from the Transport Museum. Um, it is only open on weekends um, and I got it a bit wrong before and it's actually £2 per person to ride on the tram uh, for a return journey. So if you're ever on the Wirral in this area and you want to check it out, come down and uh, have a ride on the trams. Uh, quite interesting stuff going on inside, trying to uh, restore all the vehicles and things like that as well. So thanks for watching and see you again soon.